this one is 2.28 here we have a break which is designed as shown in the diagram and there is a steel band that is restraining this wheel from turning when there is a torque of 225 newton meter is applied coefficient of friction is given here and we need to find out the tension in these strings so for this purpose we can draw the free body diagram of this wheel band assembly so there will be these tensions t1 and t2 we can do the moment balance about this center point so if i do that 225 newton meter is equals to t2 minus t1 because t2 will give you clockwise and t1 will give you anti-clockwise and the diameter is 300 so from the center this is going to be 150 millimeters so this equation gives us t2 minus t1 equals to if i cancel this 1.5 kilonewtons so this is the first relationship we have in t2 t1 now from friction perspective if your wheel is rotating in anti-clockwise direction the tendency of motion for the band at this point here is going to be to the right that's why your friction is going to be to the left and we can follow this direction throughout this band so this is how your friction is going to be acting on it so based on this we can write your t2 is equals to t1 e to the power f theta here your theta angle is 3 pi over 2 and f is given substituting these values we can get your t2 equals to t1 times e to the power 0 0.6 pi this is your second equation we can solve for these so your t1 basically is 1.5 kilonewtons divided by e to the power 0 0.6 pi minus 1 so i get t1 equals to 0 0.27 kilonewtons and t2 equals to 1.77 kilonewtons